Today's video is number one deck profile on Dueling Book. And you would think, you know, this is Altergeist, this is Spiral. This is Zephra! Anti-Meta Zephra is number one on Dueling Book at the time of this video. Shout out our boy Musa for accomplishing this feat. So if you guys want to thank him, you could do so by subscribing to Trip Gaming, baby. It's what he would want. So make sure to smash the subscribe button. Let's go straight into the video. This is the deck profile. Absolutely insane. I'm going to explain all the combos as well. He showed me the different combos the deck uses. It's insane. Five hand traps main deck. He's playing at double ash and triple gamma. I love gamma this format. I would advise a lot of you try gamma in your decks. I think I might main gamma for the UDS that I'm going to. But we'll see when it comes down to it. He's also main decking five different traps and a Cyberstein. And I'll explain the entire combos of the deck. It's insane. First place on Dueling Book. He has like a 1500 rating or something. I think it just changed after I'm editing the video. But wow, it's insane. Anyways, let's get straight into it. Uh, he's playing, uh, as you see, pure Zephyr. No Endymion, no nothing with Extravagance. He's playing double Zephyr Umpelica, one Zephyr Wendy. Triple Zephra Thubin, it is a grind out Zephra version. One Zephra Axiton, triple Zephra, triple Zephra Nui, triple Zephra Axi. The reason being is as part of his lock is that Chao Fang shuts out a lot of the meta. Uh, his game plan when he goes first is to go Chao Fang with Zephra Path, and the Zephra Path is protected by Zephyr Providence. So for those who don't know what Zephyr Path does, I'm gonna go as fast as I can in this video so you can also show a replay of him dueling at the end of the video, so stay tuned till the very end. What Zephyr Path does is it locks the opponent out. It says neither player gets special summon monsters uh, except from the hand or the extra deck. So this absolutely destroys a lot of the decks. And then when you back that up with a Chao Fang uh, and protected by Zephyr Providence, it's insane. It just destroys the opponent. The deck's insane. Uh, at first glance, when I saw it, I thought, what the hell is this guy doing? This deck looks like shit. But after I saw a replay of it, it really made sense. So do stay till the very end to see it. And guys, holy shit. Like, we're talking pure Zephyr anti-meta. Somehow, some way, first place on Dueling Book right now. But he was playing Planet Pathfinder. His two normal summons really are Pathfinder and Cyberstein. And he could get pluses up to Zephra, Ritual Beast cards. But what Planet Pathfinder does is it gets Oracle of Zephra, and the whole deck is just revolved around it. He is playing five Oracle of Zephras in a sense, triple Oracle of Zephra, one terraforming, one Planet Pathfinder. But it, it's the whole point of the deck. He really just wants to grind out with it. And he does X Y get the XYZ and Synchro effect of Oracle of Zephra a lot. Uh, uh, where draw one, discard one for XYZ, Synchro, choose one monster, etc. So you can get those effects off very easily. Uh, because it, a part of his game plan is sometimes XYZing a Zephyr Nui and yeah, uh, the Zephyr Nui's into uh, this card, which is uh, Vampire Sheridan, which is also a nice little lock that the deck could do. Uh, triple Oracle of Zephyr, triple Extravagance, which is huge in this deck, and one Terraforming, one Zephyr Path. You search Zephyr Path out all the time, triple Zephyr Providence. Like I said, the main game plan is go into Zephyr Providence, search Zephyr Path, block out your opponent, and play for the grind game. Uh, with the, these five traps really help for the grind game and you look at this you're like yo this deck is probably really shit going second but it actually thrives going second because of the utility of the Zephyr cards which I thought the deck would suck going second but you're gonna notice in the replay how he's winning a lot of his duels going second and it, it's really just the, the fact that the deck grinds so well triple Lancia, triple draw I see he likes hand traps and I think hand traps might not be super bad it's not that bad triple sphere Triple Call by the Grave and Triple Lightning Storm. I don't think there's enough back row hate in this. I would personally play at least a Red Reboot and like a few evenly matches as well. But he plays Oracle of Zephyr, uh, so that might not be why you could play it. One Exterior, one Chao Fang, double Metaphys Horus, which is huge because it's a Fraxy, and he only played double in case of Extravagance. One Nirvana High Paladin, one Omega for the Gamma, one Charge Warrior, big for the combo of uh, the known combo of Zephyr, where you can stack a hand trap. Uh, Yazi, big because everything's uh, you can summon out Zephyr Nui, whatever you want. M7 and Sheridan, part of the combo with Zephyr Nui. One Barricade Blocker, one Boral Sword Dragon, one Gravity Controller, one Lambda for the Gamma, and one Metaltron. The deck 
it looks a little crazy when you look at it but it, it actually works which is pretty insane so the best way for you guys to see how this actually works is to see it live in action so i got a replay as well for you guys and if you guys like what you see in the deck profile make sure to give the video a thumbs up and smash the subscribe button Guys, at 30,000 subscribers, I'm going to do something absolutely insane, which I'll reveal in a, in a future video, but it's going to be absolutely insane. You guys will love it. Hint, hint, it's a Tinder video. You guys are going to love it. But anyways, let's go check out the replay now. Shout out Musa again. As I said, look at that 1425 rating. I mean, this video, bro, like, it's been up for, what, two weeks now? Again, this he also sent me this replay a few days ago. I believe at the time he was first. Now I think he's second. But it's insane. And he did it all with that Zephyr deck. Uh, it's insane what Zephyr could do. No Endymion, no nothing. I'm going to fast forward the whole way because it does get a little boring. I mean, we're talking anti-meta Zephyr. He loses the die roll here. He's facing Orcus, uh, and I do believe Orcus is an underrated deck. Uh, but he goes Gamma right off the bat on the Scrap Recycler. It gets Reborn, unfortunate for him. Uh, but he did draw the Driver. So this is a brick hand, man. He had Driver and a Trap card. So this is looking like a pretty big, big, big brick. I really don't think that Musa can come back from this. Uh, he goes Oracle of Zephyr here. You're going to notice something huge that is really never over for this deck. Crescendo there. It looks like all hope is lost, but a huge part of the deck is the fact that he plays all the traps. So when a spell trap card shuffle, negate, uh, if you control a Yang Zing card, you can negate it, shuffle it into the deck. And this is huge for Yang Zings uh, because with the Zep, uh, he's playing the Nine Pillars and Nine Pillars with the Zephyr Yang Zing card is really, really good. Goes Babel there. And Musa's just thinking, like, yo, Musa's like, yo, I'm going to... Get rid of the Galatea effect. Uh, gonna go Crescendo, Bombard, and it's not, not over. You know, Orcus can grind really well, but he's gonna set one card. The, oh, the Oracle ever gets Ash Blossom there. Unfortunate for Musa. Musa was actually about to come back from all of that, but he gets hit by Unfortunate Ash Blossom. Things are looking really bad here for Musa, uh, but he told me, he's like, yo, the thing with the Zephyrus is that they're never out because the whole deck, the whole deck are Zephyrus. You can actually summon. Uh, so if you're playing Pure Pendulum here, right? Let's say you're playing Endymion and Zephyr. The reason why he doesn't play Endymion is he has the ability not to Pendulum summon anything because Zephyr Wendy, Wendy cannot be used as a scale, right? There are all the Zephyr cards can be used as scales as well. So he, uh, that's why he plays Pure Zephyr. And maybe Pure Zephyr might actually work out, which is insane. Uh, over here, it goes for IP, and unfortunately, that was game. Musa couldn't do anything. Game two now, you guys are going to really witness. Uh, the biggest comeback the, the what a comeback so he's getting controlled here on the zephyr province he's like fuck you know what fuck it just pass my turn the beauty of this meta is if you get drone lockford you're not gonna die uh orcus has trouble otk uh, all the even the backer that's the the, the backer that's cannot otk you salamaga cannot otk you only spiral and pendulum can otk you so that's a beauty of droll now here uh he's set up he's gonna have like twin twister he's gonna have some other thing like Twin Twister there, like, that's, that's still nothing. Like, Musa's ready, bro. Musa, like, he's playing pure Zephyr, he doesn't care. You can still summon a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know why he didn't Zephyr Providence there, but anyways, he's gonna go summon. Uh, uh, summon, he get those, he's gonna get Imperm. So, he's gonna do the Imperm, Twin Twister, and all that. And he's gonna have Babel still to deal with. But he's like, you know what, it's all good. Why? Because I'm gonna go into, into Horus, which is what Memphis Horus does, steals the card. So... He's gonna go into uh, uh, the Gearsu. Uh, he opts to uh, use the Gearsu to get a follow up for next turn with a Nightmare. Uh, and then Horus is gonna steal Gravity Controller. And then he's gonna XYZ into a card I told you guys, which is a big card. It's Vampire Sheridan. Vampire Sheridan is a very good card. He's gonna uh, send it, steal it, pop, send. Uh, things are looking good now. He's gonna go Gravity Controller. Oh, sorry, he's just not Scrap Recycler. And it's pretty good now. So you're going to see now that the Musa's board is going to get destroyed, right? So look at Musa's board. Musa's board is going to get destroyed. Right? Look at this. Things are looking really bad. Musa has nothing. Just a top deck. Musa just has a top deck. No Zephyr on field. Just scales. And there's no way he comes back from this, right? Draw two. Look, there's no way he comes back. There's a twin twister. He, he protects it with Zephyr Providence. There's no way he comes back from this. Draw one. Ah, uh, imperm, and he gets imperm. There's no way that Musa comes back from this, right? There is a way. He activates this card special, the Zephyr from Grave. The Zephyr Wave from Grave. He's now going to go into uh, Zephyrath, which you're playing pure Zephyr. So you get to utilize the effect of Zephyrath, where you get Pendulum Summon again. So <laughs> people forget that Zephyrath actually has an effect, a uh, monster effect. So he summons out Zephyrath to be able to Pendulum Summon again. And then he gets rid of Zephyrath from the field. 
to summon his Zephyr Nui now, and then he Pendulum summons again, bringing on Zephyr Path, which is what I'm talking about. This deck could grind like crazy. They looked like all hope was lost for Musa, but he was like, nah, I'm playing the best grind deck in the game. Uh, Zephyr Path basically locks up that opponent from using uh, any, from doing anything. Uh, he links away into Lambda. His Gamma's live. Search of Providence. Now you see the Fud Gates just open. He doesn't play around Drone Lock right there. He should have just straight up searched for the Counter Trap. Uh, all Fud Gates are open. Uh, the Lambda was on field. I think you could have Gamma there, but he didn't. All the Fud Gates are open here, and there's just nothing he could have done. So game two goes to our boy Musa. Game three, we're going to fast forward the whole way. Yeah, it's actually insane what, what this deck could do. You can see now, like, Gamma. Like, Gamma is huge this format. Stop the Ash there. He has Zephyr Path and the Lancia. And Ogre. The Omega gets Ogre. So you're going to see here, he's going to play around Ash and Ogre. The Moose is going to play around Ash and Ogre. Uh, gets the Nine Pillars out. And Nine Pillars is huge. He has Nine Pillars, Zephyr Path, and Lancia. That's three cards that are gigantic. And he's going to get a plus from popping this up for Nui. That's a bonus of playing, a huge bonus playing pure Zephyr is you go put the Zephyrs in the scale because everything is Zephyr, right? Uh, it goes Allure, summon the Dino Wrestler, Scrap gets uh, interrupted by the Nine Pillar, adds Zephyr Providence by the fact that doesn't even use the Lancia. I would have shotgun that to be honest. Zephyr Providence, gonna bring that out. <laughs> oh, this is huge. Like, this is just huge. Hand summon, get another negate, go into Chow Fang, which absolutely destroys uh, everything in the meta right now. Chow Fang, Zephyr Path, the Divine Strike, everything. He is game. He is scoops. So you guys saw there how it works. Pure Zephyr is number one on Dueling Book. So shout out our boy Musa. We got it going. And hit the subscribe button if you guys got this far. Consider signing up for a Trip Gaming membership if you want to learn about Pendulum in depth. Sorry again, that was a little sick for this video. The old tri uh, hype trip will be back for the future videos. And hey, get yourself a Trip Gaming Playmat. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.